Hi friends this is new video tutorial on Laravel framework and in this part we will learn how to check email available or not for registration in Laravel application by using Ajax. Email must be unique for any web application because in most of the application we have authenticate email with password. So on one email address user can register only one time if user has come for registration with same email ID then our web application must be not access register email address. So here we will see how can we check email already register or not in our Laravel application by using Ajax. Now we have start learning this topic so, this is our testing database and in this we have one login table with a table column. In this table we have already inserted one record so we will check into the table for email is available or not for registration or not. First we want to make database connection so we have open.env file. And under this we have write local host, in database we have write testing, in username we have write root and password set to blank. After this we have go to config folder database.php file and in that file also we have defined database credential. Now we have go to command prompt in which we have already run composer command and now we have run this command. This command will make email available controller under app slash http slash controller folder. Under this controller first we have make index method, so when we have called this controller directly then this function will execute. Under this we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write email available view file. So when this index method has called then it will load email available.blade.php file on browser and this file we have already created under resources slash views folder. So we have go to resources slash views folder and open email available dot blade dot php file and in this file we have already include javascript jquery and bootstrap library. Under this first we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to email, under this text box user can enter email address details. Below this we have write span tag id error email, under this tag we will display validation and email available or not message. After this we have write input type is equal to password, name, and id is equal to password, under this user can enter password details. Lastly in HTML field we have write button type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to register, if email will be not proper or not unique then this button will be disabled. Below this we have write csrf field field function for multiple exception validation. Now we want to set root for this email available controller index method so we have go to roots folder web.php file. Under this we have write root class with get method with two argument, in first argument we have write slash email available.
and second argument we have write email available controller at the rate index method so here we have called index method of email available controller friends here we have first write base url of laravel application after this we have write slash email available then on web page we can see email password and button field on web page for validate email available or not here we on email available view file we have write dollar with text box id email with blur method so when we have fill email detail and go to next field then this code will execute under this first we have define error email variable is equal to blank value under this variable will store email validation error Below this we have write email variable is equal to dollar with text box id email with value method. Here we have store email text box value under this email variable. Now we have write underscore token variable is equal to dollar with input name is equal to token with value method. This code will fetch value of input fields with name is underscore token. After this we have write filter variable is equal to regular expression for check email is in proper format or not. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with filter variable dot test method and under this we have write email variable. This condition will check if email variable value is not in proper email format then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose email is not proper format then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar with span tag id error email with add class method and under this we have write has error class. After this again we have write span tag id error email with html method and under this we have write message like invalid email. Lastly under this block we have write dollar with button id register with attribute method and under this we have write disabled. This code will disabled register button if email is not in proper format. But suppose email address in proper format then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to root email available dot check. Here we have send request to check method of email available controller by using root method. In second option we have write method and under this we have write post, so here we will use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define email variable and underscore token variable data send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write result variable value is equal to unique. If this condition true then it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar with span tag id error email dot html method and under this we have write email available message. After this we have write dollar with text box id email with remove class method and under this we have write has error, this code will remove has error class.
Lastly under this block we have write dollar with button ID register with attribute method and under this we have write disabled, this code remove disabled attribute from button. But suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar with span tag id error email with html method and under this we have write email not available message. After this we have write dollar with text box id email with add class method and under this we have write has error. This code will remove has error from email text box. Lastly under this block we have write dollar with button id register with attribute method and under this we have write disabled, this code will disabled register button. Now we have go to email available controller and here first we have write use database class, by using this statement we can use database class under this controller. After this we have make check method with request argument, this method will receive Ajax request. Under this method we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar request with get method and under this we have write email. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this if block we have write dollar email variable is equal to dollar request variable with get method and under this we have write email. Here we have store email value under this dollar email variable. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class with table method and under this we have write login table, this code will make query like select star from login table. After this we have write where method with two argument like email table column and dollar email variable, this code will add where clause into select query. After this we have again add count method, this method will execute query and return number of row affected which we have store under dollar data variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar data variable value greater than zero. If this condition true that means email address already register into our database and it will execute if block in which we have write echo statement with not unique. But suppose above condition false that means particular email address is not register into our database and it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write echo statement with unique text. Now we want to set root for check method, so we have go to web.php file. Under this we have write root class with post method with two argument, in first argument we have write slash email available slash check. And in second argument we have write email available controller at the rate check method, here we have send request to check method of email available controller. After this we have write name method and under this we have write email available dot check method, this is for Ajax request URL option. Friends first we have refresh page and now we can see email and password field with register button on web page. Now in text box here we have type something and go to password field then we can invalid email address message below email text box and register button has been disabled. So we have now write John Smith at the rate gmail.com and go to password field. 
So now we have received error message like email already register error on web page. And now also register button also disabled, so when we have enter proper email and that email should not be register on our website then this button will be enabled. So now we have write John Smith 123 at gmail.com and then after we have go to next field. So now we have received email available message on web page and now a register button has been enabled. So this way we can check live email available or not for registration in Laravel framework by using Ajax. Because it is required feature for any website for restrict to use same email ID which is already register with our website. This type of feature can be used for check username available or not. Because this two data must be unique because based on this data we have validate and we have give access to user to enter into our website. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.